Hey guys, Anthony here. Um, quick video tonight, just an update on a couple things uh, that I did over the weekend. I was able to get some time together and go out to the range, um, an indoor range, a local indoor range and in, uh, pretty close to where I live. Uh, I knew prior to going that you needed to, if you take a shotgun, you need to buy the shotgun ammo at the range. There's some kind of law, they say, or ordinance. They have to make sure a certain certain kind of round is being shot. So I knew that going into it. So I took my shotgun. I knew I was going to have to buy a box of ammo from, from the range master. Um, and then I took a pistol with some 9mm ammo of my own. And I took my AR-15 with a box with a, well, gosh, about... 200 rounds of ammo that I planned on shooting to practice my AR, uh, you know, target marksmanship, whatever. And I found out when I got there that I needed to also buy the AR-15 ammo um, from the Range Master, which was selling for 20 bucks for 20 rounds, which was I was not looking to spend. So rather than turn around and leave, I, I ended up buying a box of 12 gauge. I bought one box of 20 rounds of AR ammo, and um, I had 50 rounds of 9 mil ammo that I was going to shoot anyway. And I shot, uh, you know, the, the shotgun, the 9 millimeter. Um, took my wife with me. She she shot the 9, the Glock 19, um, and then. Uh, I loaded 20 rounds into the AR and I was able to shoot 20 rounds, which is a lot less than I wanted to shoot uh, through my AR. Um, so this is the target uh, right here uh, that I shot at. I think it was, I don't even know how far it was away. This was an indoor range. I think it was maybe 30 feet or something like that. First time I shot this particular AR, um, so there's the... The shots right there so you you guys that are specialists in sighting in and marksmanship I just used the iron sights I wasn't real um, wasn't even broken in yet uh, I was expecting to shoot a lot more rounds to get some better practice but I was just just trying to you know basically just test out the rifle make sure the the um, gen 3 mag pull mag worked good which it did but again 20 rounds is not a lot of ammo to practice with so that's my target right here for the AR. You guys that are master marksmen can help me out and let me know how I was shooting. High, low, you know, give me some pointers. The the DVD here on the, uh, right here, Mastering the AR-15. I bought this several years ago. It's by Lenny McGill. It's a pretty good video. I haven't watched it in a while. I just started watching it again. It basically breaks down the... Uh, the AR in segments, uh, you know, shooting techniques, disassembly, cleaning, reassembly, maintenance, nomenclature, you know, different things, goes over the rifle. I think it's a real good um, DVD for someone like me um, or anybody, you know, that's getting into shooting. Uh, really well, you know, well uh, thought out, easy to look at, easy to understand. Uh, bought it from uh, gunvideo.com, I think that's his website. Uh, yeah, gunvideo.com. Got lots of videos and got a lot of information on Glocks, you know, magazines and parts and things like that. You definitely should check it out if you haven't. And then I got my Season 3 Walking Dead in the mail from my brother that he sent me. So now I have Season 1, 2, and 3. And Season 3 is uh, a great season. I plan on watching that. And I'm looking forward to... Um, you know, season season four, starting up in um, in October. Uh, what else? So went shooting this weekend. Did some um, had the uh, Walshin uh, radio going tonight. Listening to the traffic net. Uh, nothing major going on down here in South Florida, but uh, you know I had kind of uh, shied away from listening. Just started doing other things at night. But I'm going to get start back into listening to the uh, traffic net uh, each night here at, uh, at uh, 6 o'clock uh, p.m. And then uh, what else? The item on the left here, right here by Reliance, 
is a hydro roller. And basically what this is, is a eight gallon rollable, uh, totable water carrier. It's got a handle. There it is, you see I, I label the top there. Uh, I loaded this in January of 2013. And basically every year I, re, I dump the water and reload it in my water, in this hydro roller. So I always have eight gallons on wheels here um, to take and to, um, you know, grab and go if I had to. That's an item you could pick up in, a, you know, Gander Mountain or somewhere. Uh, they carry them and get them online. I think they're like 30, 40 bucks, but they're definitely well worth it, especially if you go camping and stuff. You need to, it's got a spout that comes out of the top so you could pour the water easily uh, through the spout as well. At any rate, guys, just wanted a you know quick video tonight on uh, some of my uh, shooting over the weekend. Uh, ended up spending like $67 at the range, which is crazy. I guess I'm going to have to go to the outdoor range where you could bring your own ammo because buying ammo from the range can get really expensive. You know, if you're just going and shoot a few rounds here and there, you know, it's not bad. But, you know, if you take an AR and you got to buy ammo. I don't know if all indoor ranges are like that. Maybe you guys can let me know how it is in your area. But this particular range uh, for, for shotgun and AR uh, and certain rifle ammo, you have to buy from the range. And it's always more money when you buy it there. So let me know what you think, guys. Let me know uh, how the marksmanship was. Any pointers? I'd appreciate it. Any tips? Uh, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.